Boom! Dow pops 239 points. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade, kicking off the week here, Monday, September 12th, 2016. And all the indexes up in bullish territory, up more than 1%. Banks a little laggy though, only up 0.61%. And financials a little laggy, just barely over 1%. US dollar break even, crude oil up a fraction, and mixed here on precious metals. We do have a little bit of a drop here. And the fear, the fear dropping by 13%, confirming today's bullish move. And first thing we're gonna do is take a look here at the S&P 500. And as you remember on the weekend edition video, we had a sizable drop, big drop here, boom. Ah, uh, we had a nice pop. Our drop was nearly 400 points. We rallied back 239, so what is that, 60% or so? So we came back 60, 65% of the drop that we received Friday on big, big volume. Now we found support at the rising 100 day moving average and we're finding resistance at the 50 day moving average. But the bottom line is we are down below a, a big area of support with this trend line coming across and the 20 day moving average. So we have 20 day, the 50 day, a lot of resistance up above us. The question is, what will happen next? I fully expect going into Tuesday, we're gonna get another pop here. The question is, will we stop at the falling 20-day moving average? Will we, and will that be resistance before we drop again? Now, let me throw this out there. Very important that you get this. And uh, I, I almost left this out of the video, but I'm gonna share it with you because a lot of you guys have been following me a long time. I would be very interested down in the comments to know how long have you been watching my videos and anyway you'll know that i've been doing this i was the first person to do daily trading videos in the entire world started doing this in 2004 and check this out this sort of pattern there's no name for it uh, what you're seeing here is what's called a piercing paddle uh, pattern a piercing pattern reversal candlestick pattern but what I wanna share with you is a pattern that you're, you're not gonna find in any textbooks. This is just from mere experience. A lot of times when you get a formation, up, 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 we're going into this triangle, we get this drop, and you get this immediate drop, but it's a significant one. It's one with a big red candlestick. It's not, it's not unlikely to get an immediate bounce after that. A lot of people call them dead cat bounces and you'll get this. The Fed came out and gave some dovish co comments regarding you know, a rate hike happening in September is very um, unlikely, and that helped the market. So we had a catalyst of news. What I am suspect of right now is what you'll see happen a lot of times is pre-market going into the next day, you'll get a gap down. And then you'll get a sizable another sell-off. And this sell-off will be something of the same size as this red one. And you'll get that right there, and sometimes it's a little longer. So in this case, if that were to happen, we could actually reach this blue line in one swoop. And that would be like a 500-point down day if we were to get that. And if that happens, expect a lot more choppiness to come. And it... And, and before you get a decisive drop. If that happens, that will be putting this as a uh, short-term high for going into the near future. However, I think the odds are if, uh, that we're gonna see a little bit of a pop going into Tuesday. The odds are certainly for that to happen. But I'm here to warn you, if we, if pre-market futures are telling us that we're gonna get a sizable gap down, look for people to sell into that the rest of the day. Been doing this a long, long time. I've been actively trading, using technical analysis for 18 years. So if we get that gap down, just pay attention to that. Looking here at the NASDAQ, look at this, big gap down, boom! 
Boom, to the upside. Um, we are above the 50-day moving average, below the 20-day moving average. And it'd be interesting to see what comes of this. I, I think that we're going to fill this gap. We're going to get a bullish day. But again, if pre-market futures are down by half <laughs> or thereabouts, then we expect the sell-off to commence. That, that is not outside the scope of uh, probability. And looking down here at crude oil, remember saying that we're going into the apex and expect this to chop around? I think that crude oil is getting ready to bounce. And if this is the low and we do get a bounce, that will be relative strength and that will be probably enough to get us to go to the bull side on this. But expect a big, big move on crude oil. It's going to come. We're in the pay apex here. It's building up a ton of energy. See the moving averages coiling together. Uh, they're more acting as resistance than support right now. So that's not in its favor. But we did not find support at this blue line yet. So that would be pretty bullish. Fascinating pattern that we're seeing here. So watch crude oil very closely. Gold is at an area of support. Watch for there to be a bounce. If we get a bounce, I'll put a buy signal there, but this could definitely be a, a, a buy opportunity for gold. Silver, uh, oh man, I need to add that already. Oh, I, I wanna add a buy right now. Um, but, but, but I'm a little too early. So what I'm going to do here is let you guys know that that's what I'm expecting on silver. Okay. That's what I'm expecting on silver. Same thing is true on gold. So uh, matter of fact, let me go back to crude oil and it's, and I'm, oh, this one, I, I'm just going to do a, uh, let me do it just a tiny one because I, I think it's just going to be tiny. I'm not convinced that's going to break out. So that's kind of where I'm at on those guys. And a lot of you guys uh, purchased the hedging course. And I'll tell you, you did a wise decision. If you go to Grok Trade, click on hedging. If you get it before midnight tonight, uh, Monday, uh, be very clear here. If you get it, um, the $97 goes down to $69. I did it as a a, a, um, a weekend edition discount. And the reason I'm doing it at a discount here is simply because the hedging course, click on hedging here, go to Grok Trade, click on hedging. The hedging course is all about making your 401ks, IRAs, any, or cash accounts, any type of retirement account, you need to make it ironclad bulletproof you need to be able to protect yourself if you plan on holding long going into the future here you need to be able to say hey during the uncertain times in the markets like we're seeing right now when you have a 400 point drop in the dow guys that's big time you that's a that's a that's a shot over the bow and you need to protect assets uh, best way to do that is learn how to hedge. That's what we do in the institutional world. Hedging is our friend. And institutions who, uh, all 100% of all institutions hedge. They would not be in business if they didn't. Hedge funds, they're all about hedging. Uh, and we want to protect our capital. Best way to do that. So I teach you those strategies, the strategies that I personally use for my larger account for when I'm when I'm more of a, a buy and hold. I really never buy and hold. I'm much more active than that. But if I don't want to monkey with it in and out a lot, what well, Mark or Meerkat and I call slow money, the bigger account, you need to hedge it during these times. So anyway, go there and check it out. See if it's for you. Um, if you like my videos, you like Mark's videos, like it. We're doing a mentorship coming up. You need to join us. Let us lock arms with you and teach you the ropes and show you how to do this the right way. Supercharge your trading.